G'day everyone, Uncle Jojo, Warm Chica, to another ripper of an episode. Today we're going to talk about VOCs and off-gassing. VOCs, volatile organic compounds, are carbon-based chemicals in the air. Now, carbon is air in itself, so we have, we will be breathing VOCs all day, every day, anyway. Some of them are natural and some of them are unnatural. The main thing that we're gonna look at today is the VOCs in a home. Recently, a fan of mine, that's what I said, a fan of mine, contacted me and was telling me about the problems they're having moving into their brand new home. They've just spent mega bucks on a brand new home and they've moved in and one of their kids has had a huge effect. My fan that contacted me isn't the only one that I've heard this from and it is becoming a more common occurrence in the industry where people are moving into their apartments or homes and they're having effects from it. It can be anything from swollen glands, it can be breathing problems, it can be rashes or blotches on their skins and the list can go on. There, as I said before, there are two main types. There's natural and unnatural. So man-made is the unnatural obviously or human-made is the unnatural products. A lot of those come from manufactured products, such as petroleum-based products, plastics, wool insulation, glues, bonding agents, paints, waterproofing, varnishes, uh, different types of flooring and glues, cabinetry systems, uh, the list goes on. There's a lot, there are a lot that out there. So you need to have a look at which chemicals have been invited in or installed into your home or apartment. One of the best things that you can do is if you are building your own home or you have a say in what goes into your apartment, use as raw materials as possible. So as natural materials as possible. So if we're installing a floorboard, we try and install a solid floorboard. We try not to do engineered boards or manufactured boards like a floating floor. We try and use a solid timber. Solid timber, two reasons. One, timber stores carbon for its lifetime. And the other is, unless it gets burned, and the other is that it has the, lim the least amount of VOCs or volatile organic compounds used in it. Bricks can be very, very good, but they can also be bad. Um, fake stone or man-made stones, human-made stones, we need to be very careful of that. They obviously have bonding agents in them. Now, let's just touch on the base of bonding agents. What do I mean? Bonding agents are gluing methods. So we have particle board, so boards that we use for our kitchens, um, MDF, another board that's used for door jams, etc. These kind of things are man-made that have formaldehyde or benzene in them, which are a bonding agent, and it helps the material hold together. There are certain materials out there nowadays that are man-made that don't have those kind of bonding agents in them, and I strongly suggest to seek those out wherever you can. WeatherTex being one of those big ones. That all being said, you need to make sure that those materials that you're using, wherever you're using them, are gonna be okay in the home. Another one to think about is carpets. Carpets, if they're not natural, so if they're a poly base or something along those lines, they're going to be high chemical base. Now, the smell of an apartment or a, the smell of a brand new car or something along those lines can always be an attraction to people, but you have to be careful about the smells of them. They need to off gas. So Uncle Jojo, what do you mean by off gas? Well, let me tell you. So off gassing is allowing an area, a material to breathe. So we open up windows and doors and we allow it to breathe. From the research I've done, the biggest part of off gassing, some chemicals in materials can off gas for over seven years. And we need to be really careful about those chemicals. Formaldehydes and benzene being a really big part of that. So when we move into somewhere or when we buy a car or something along those lines, we want to off gas it. In a home, we want to off gas it for about two weeks if we can before we move into it. So we open up windows and doors, we let it breathe and we use low VOC paints and chemical bases when we're finishing off the house. So we try and use raw carpets wherever we can. 
We always try and use low VOC paints wherever we can. And we always try and put windows in positions where we've got cross air ventilation and it allows the home to breathe. Remember, I always talk about the breathability of a home, a habitable space. Why? Because we are alive. We want that area to be able to breathe with us. It's so important. So the next time you're looking at getting a home built or you're looking at doing things regarding building your own furniture or getting somebody to build your furniture, have a look at the coatings they use. Have a look at the, the paints, the, the glues, uh, all of that kind of, all the jazz, wherever you can, because it's super duper, duper duper, super duper 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 important. Not just for you, but growing minds, people that come into the home, all that kind of jazz as well. If you've got any questions or queries about off-gassing, oh, actually, before I go, off-gassing. Another thing about off-gassing you need to pay heed to is don't take it from the word of somebody that says to you that you can switch up the heat in an area and the whole thing will be off-gassed and you can move in. It's one of the worst things that I've ever heard. Again, off-gassing can last over seven years, depending on the materials and the chemicals used. The best thing that you can do is use low chemical based products in the first place. If you've got it off gas, don't try and bring the house up to 25 degrees or more. It, number one, it wastes resources. Number two, it ends up becoming a sweat box and the list goes on. So be careful about how you're being told to deal with off gassing. Windows and doors are obviously a big thing, but natural ways. You can use an air purifier, but plants, greenery will actually absorb, and do your homework on the greenery, will actually absorb chemicals in the atmosphere. That is awesome for us human beings. Why not accept the environment into our home, natural environment into our home, and kill off and help us uh, better defend ourselves against VOCs and things trying to take us over. Any questions or queries about any of that, flick it over. I'll answer it for you best I can, whenever I can. Thanks for watching, and like always, stay unreal, Bernard feels old. See you in the suit.